Hello? Welcome to Alchemy, because turning pain into power is sexy. So, listen, here is the message. I'm going to jump right into it. Divine pussy is so powerful that you can't just allow just anyone access. Now, I know some of you think you've heard this before, but I assure you, you've never heard it quite like this. You want to know why the world is in chaos? Why there's so much turmoil? Why there is an imbalance of power? Why women, us women, have been fighting for the right to be heard and to be valued, respected, invited to the tables? Well, it's because we've been giving a very powerful pussies to the wrong people. Whatever floats your boat, whether you've been giving it to men or to women or blending or both, whatever the case, we wonder why there's an imbalance in power, why there's chaos, why we aren't invited to the tables, why we aren't valued, what fill in the blank, right? It's because we've been allowing them to play when they don't deserve it. We've been playing when there's no room or time to be playing, if you know what I mean. It's like, for those of you who have children, they're not doing well in school, okay? They're not doing well in school, yet you still let them play the the video games you still let them watch their favorite shows on television you still let them go out and hang out still letting them stay up all night long you still letting them have access to their cell phone and texting whoever they want yeah right it's kind of how we would discipline children i'm thinking about this movie that i saw called she rack it's a spike lee joint whatever your feelings are about that movie that's on you okay the the purpose and the mission that sticks out to me about that movie was that the women they gathered together and they were tired of all the gang violence you know and I think this took took place in Chicago but they were tired of all the gang violence they were tired of you know the gangs killing each other you know and they said we got to do something and the women were like what do we do and they all decided to withhold sex from their men even the sex workers the prostitutes even the hoes was up on it okay you, the men couldn't, so if they weren't getting it from their wives or their girlfriends, they couldn't go get it from Jane Doe on the street corner. They couldn't go get it from Peaches and them on the street corner. They couldn't go get it from Sunshine. You remember Sunshine? When she threw her pussy in the sky, turned into Sunshine. Remember Loretta Devine? Was it Loretta? Not Loretta Devine. Oh, what's her name in the movie? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Put it in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. But she says, "Hun." I got a girl whose pussy is so good, when she throw it up in the air, it turns into sunshine, right? <laughs> they couldn't even go get it from sunshine. Even all of the sex workers came together for this mission and this purpose. Basically, what I'm saying, y'all, and this isn't just for my women, this is for the fellas too. There are people in positions of power who only remain in power because we empower them. And because my work is in sensuality and sexuality education, here's what I'm going to tell you. They're only in power because we continue to empower them. And we continue to empower them by letting them have access to infinite power, which is pussy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we wonder why there's chaos and confusion in the world. I recently put up a short that says, the short, go back to the short, but I'm going to paraphrase. It says, only those men who 
worships the divine feminine to understand and evolve himself within and the world around him are the only men who deserve power and pussy. Okay, <laughs> ladies, fellas, whatever you want to call yourself, something in between, I don't really care. Just listen to the message, right? We have been allowing low vibrational energies to access heaven. Literally, not just figuratively, literally since the dawn of time for far too long. And we wonder why the world is in chaos. It's because we have nefarious sons of guns accessing gold, accessing diamonds, accessing infinite power and abundance, accessing infinite source creation. We have low vibrational wicked ones accessing God. We have low vibrational nefarious ones accessing goddess. And we're wondering what the problem is. Particularly for those of you who have been on this journey of turning your pain into power, meaning you have you are on the journey of alchemy, alchemizing pain into power, meaning you've taken the shit that's been thrown at you in life. And you have turned it and alchemized it into purpose to help yourself and those around you, okay? Those of you on the journey or who, or who maybe you just come out of the journey of the dark night of the soul odyssey, right? When everything around you flips upside down and on its head and the only thing that you can do is dig your way out. The only light that is at the end of the tunnel is from the flames in which you set your old self ablaze so that your new self can be reborn. The journey of the phoenix, yeah, you. You, chosen one, you, 144, you in particular have divine pussy. You in particular have divine phalluses, a phallix for my fellas, okay? Divine, okay? So we're not, we are not just talking about femininity, okay? We're not just talking about um, the feminine essence. We are not talking about divine femininity. We're not talking about divine masculinity. So there's a difference between feminine and masculine and divine feminine and divine masculine. Okay. There's levels to the shit, right? You know how they say there's levels to the shit. There's levels to the shit. So to those of you who, who have done the work on and in yourself, you know, I'm talking to you, you know, you're part of the chosen, you know, you're the 144, you know, you're the Phoenix who's risen, right? You in particular have divine pussy and divine penises, right? You have a divine womb. You have a divine core, a divine center. And it's even more imperative for you to be very particular about who gains access or walks through your doorways, who enters you through your doorways, right? Now, don't get me wrong. Let's back up a little bit. I'm not talking about, oh, I have to wait till I get married because I'm so divine and so virtuous. I ain't talking about that shit. That's a bunch of BS. Okay. If you listen to my previous videos, you already know what I'm talking about. Even if you were a sex worker, okay. Even if you were a sex worker, it's important for you to be very particular about who you have an exchange with. Because your doorways and what you carry can be very healing, can be so healing, right? Can be so powerful that you start to empower nefarious motherfuckers. Yeah. You start to empower those who are the last people on this planet that need power. Who are the last people on this planet that need to access divine power. You ever seen one of those movies I'm thinking like Mortal Kombat or I don't know, just one of those science fiction movies, which I love science fiction, but I can't think of any, but just think of any science fiction movie you've ever seen in your life. There's always these low vibrational nefarious people who want to gain access to some sort of source, some sort of power, some sort of sort of gold, right? Uh, oh, let's think about Wakanda, right? They wanted access to the vibranium, 
right? The nefarious, wicked ones wanted access to the vibranium because they wanted all of the power. They wanted the power to give life and to take it. They wanted the power. They wanted all power, right? Think just any sci-fi movie you could think of, okay? This is, those types of movies, when they say art imitates life, those type of movies really are reflecting what the war has been like, been like between the nefarious ones and, and those who want to, the nefarious ones who want to gain power on whatever level, okay? However you want to think about it. But those types of movies give a lot of, lot of, a lot of insight to what I'm talking about, okay? To those of you who have done the work and or are doing the work on and in yourself, it's very, very important that you are particular and you are discerning about who you are intimate with. And I'm not saying you only need to be intimate with one person. I'm not saying that. Listen, you need to read my articles if you haven't. You need to go back and listen to some of my old content if you haven't. You need to read my book, get your copy, Activate, Unorthodox Philosophies that Explore Anxiety, Depression, and Suicidal Thoughts as Symptoms of Suppressed Superpower. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook, all right? To those of you who've read that, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so those of you who are doing the work on and in yourself or who have or continue to do the work as this is an infinite journey so you never stop doing this inner work it's very particular for you because you are again allowing certain energies to access an ancient power the power to create the power to give life the power to take life you know we are empowering people in to be in positions of power who don't even deserve to be in positions of power. They can get away with doing some of the shit they do in the world because they know they're always going to have access to power as long as there are weak-minded men and weak-minded women who continue to give them access to them, who continue to give them access to their power, i.e. the power between your legs, i.e. the power that sits in your womb, lying dormant, waiting for you to activate it and awaken it for more reasons than just fucking. Ooh, Tamisha. My God, how can you say such things? You're so blatant. Yes. Yes, I am. Let's have a moment of silence for the old Tamisha. All right. Now let's get back to business. <laughs> I just heard Beyonce in my head. Um, something, take care of something and get back to business. All right. So anyway, this is just a quick message. I wanted to just share this. If you know, you know, okay? We're not going to hold hands through this one. If you know, you know. You cannot be with just anybody. Even if your work is in sex work, for those of you who have work in sex work, okay, you cannot be with just anybody. You need to be discerning because you are empowering those who do not need power. There are certain people who do not need to access power, divine power at that, because they are running amok. They are ruining our planet they're ruining people and it's ruining you so be discerning okay allow your intuition to play a role in whatever it is that you do your sensual self and your sexual self will guide you on who should gain access all right we study ancient history or uh uh, ancient Egypt or um, ancient India, right? I'm thinking and I'm being reminded of there were sacred sexual temples and there were shamans that worked in these temples, women and male shamans that worked in these temples and they were able to activate their sensual and sexual selves to help heal, to help heal heal h-e-a-l people okay they knew how to tap into this power it's 144 as i just looked at they knew how to tap into this power to help heal uplift 
to build, to fortify, to unify. That's what it's for. It isn't just to just ooh, have fun with, let somebody just orgasm and then that's a wrap. You're hurting more than you know when you do that. You affect us all when you haven't matured and what to do with your sensual and sexual self. Many of you have got to grow up. And I don't mean that as far as your age. I mean that in your maturity and I mean that in your energetic bodies. You've got to grow up. You've got to rise up. You've got to raise up, meaning you've got to raise this energy from where you've just been using it and raise it up to here because we need you. But the only way that you can help is if you wake the fuck up. And realize that what you carry is divine. And to be discerning about who can get access to that. There are certain men and women who deserve access to that. There are. And I'm not saying you're supposed to go and marry them and find them and nothing like that. There are certain men. And hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. There are certain men and women on this planet who deserve access to you. And the only way you're going to know who deserves access to you is if you are activating your discernment and your intuition. If you are activating your emotional intelligence and if you are activating your mental health. If you want to learn how to do that, contact me now. You can email me at TanishaBurgess at gmail.com. You can click the Linktree link in the uh, information description box below and reach out to me. Okay? You will know this message if is for you, if it's for you. For those of you that know, you know. Thank you for subscribing here on Alchemy because turning pain into power is sexy. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.